Hello, everyone. Hey, RTP. <laughs> Hello. Is that a Kathy Viola that I see? Hello, Kathy. My queen. <laughs> Kathy, I have a joke for you. Can, can we all hear the joke? <laughs> no. Yeah. Uh, hold on. I got to find it. <laughs> Why couldn't two elephants go swimming at the same time? Only one pair of trunks. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I, I'll, I'll mute myself now. <laughs> no, no. No, that's great. I feel like maybe maybe Kathy didn't hear that because that was a good one and it was not the response that I expected. So I like to think she heard it very clearly. <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna set a virtual background for me. Oh, wait, same. Oh, look at me! I'm on the beach now. Wow, that's actually that's really good. Like the quality of that of that like background. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm on the beach now, so that's really fun. <laughs> now let's see what time is it. It's four. It just turned four or four. We'll give it to four or five. Give give people a five minute window. Let me make sure. No one emailed me and said, "Oh, I can't get on." So it's usually just me. I want everybody to know if you hear a lot of motorcycles, it's my neighbors because. Oh. The sun's out, so bikes are out, and they, they're just sitting there revving them because they can't go anywhere. <laughs> are they? Are their bikes six feet apart from each other, or are they close? Check. Thank you. Um, and if you hear any classic rock songs, real loudly, that's my upstairs neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I thought something was like breaking earlier because there's just like a lot of vibrating happening, and it was just it was just the bass. So it's all fine. <laughs> all right. So we have, oh, we have Jamie from Woodridge here, Rachel uh, from the LMTI staff, we have Annie from Kingsway, Masha from Sayreville, and Dwight from Reach. Reach, not rad. This is Reach now. Fix that in my notes. <laughs> all right. All right, well, it's four or five, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Thank you for everyone who, who made time to, to come on today. And thank you to the entire LFTI staff for also coming on today. Uh, thanks for showing up. Yeah, I'm pumped too, Lisa. I'm pumped too. It's nice to see other people's faces. <laughs> All right, so uh, welcome to the March Action Group webinar. I think it's sound. <laughs> Kathy. Kathy, we very much hear you. <laughs> I told you she didn't hear the elephant <laughs> joke. What? No, no, no. Kathy, you were right on it. There you go. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Oh, I sent that directly to Annie Barnish, not to everyone. Sorry, Annie. <laughs> you I feel like we should wait for Kathy now. Now this is a fun. Oh, you can hear us now. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Kathy, Rachel told should me I retell thing. my joke? For <laughs> yeah. <Kathy? laughs> yes, please. Yeah. yeah, Rachel, please go ahead. You know, I gotta pull it up so I, I verbatim have to have to, you know. Okay. <laughs> um, here you go. Apparently, this was too hard for me to uh, to remember. Um, why couldn't two elephants go swimming at the same time? I don't know. Only one pair of trunks. Ah! <laughs> That's the reaction. <laughs> we need that kind of humor now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, d we didn't know you couldn't hear us earlier. And we just <laughs> didn't think Rachel's joke was funny. <laughs> I know I couldn't get the volume and it was hiding and it was like so I logged out and I logged in and I called my son to the rescue. <laughs> I brought in reinforcements. <laughs> All right. 
Well, now that we've heard, now that we've heard the same joke twice, let's uh let's move on with today's agenda. Um, so thank you everyone for coming online. I see someone, some more people are logging on. This is being recorded, so we'll send this out to everyone uh, after the fact as well. Um, so we have four things on our agenda. One is the new LMKI website. Ooh. Uh, we have our talking about some virtual action group ideas. Obviously, people aren't able to meet in person right now. So coming up with some creative ways for your action groups to do work um, online, virtually, you know, not in person, six feet away. Um, and then next month is Alcohol Awareness Month. So we have some activities and ideas that you can do um, on our new prevention portal. Um, and we'll go over that. And then just some other updates that we have with LMTI, we'll go over that as well. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to just hop on your mic, interrupt me, it's all right. You can also write in the uh, group chat and ask there. Um, I'm sure the other LMTI staff will pop in here and there to help me out. So let's get going. It's a new LMTI website, ooh, ah, so pretty. And it's got some new fun stuff too. Um, so, ooh, oh, wow, glad that I didn't make that a link. So our new website is njlmti.org. Um, it has all the same great information um, plus some. Um, and so we want to thank everyone for being very patient with us as we figured out some of our technical issues that we had with it. Um, but it's all up, it's all very pretty, and it's all very fun. So all that stuff is still there. And so let's move on to some goodies. So um, obviously since we can't all meet, yeah, Rachel? Oh, I, I muted myself. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the password is different for the prevention portal on the new website. Um, you have to make your own account, just FYI. Yeah, so. we were, we were going to run through that later, but thank you. You're, you're so good. See, I'm going to just mute myself and the motorcycles and just... Hi. Hi, Abby. Um, so we, so obviously since everyone can't meet, um, we wanted to come up with some ideas that you could use uh, with your action groups to meet or just some other ideas since action planning and doing a lot of programming is going to be difficult um, during this time when everyone is quarantined. So um, obviously virtual meetings are a really good tool to use. Um, it helps everyone stay connected. It helps you seeing each other's faces and, and talking to people um, who you don't live with, which, is, which can be a nice break. Um, and so we have some, free, some tools you can use that are free. So Skype, you can do free web conferencing on. Um, Zoom also you can use for free. Um, and another one we use is GoToMeeting. Uh, for any advisors who watch this before Monday, um, the LMTI staff is giving um, a, what Mr. Corey is calling a Zoom Zoom um, on Monday um, to like our staff at Partners in Prevention to teach them how to use Zoom um, during this time. And so if any advisors are interested in that, attending that, uh, you're all welcome to come on. Just uh, email Corey or any of the LMTI staff and we'll make sure you have the login info to do that. Um, some online games and icebreakers. Um, so some things that we found online. So is deck.toys.com. Oh no, it's just deck.toys. It's not .com. It's just a website. Um, is one we recently found where you can do like online, uh, like virtual escape rooms. It was originally set up for teachers, I think. Um, and the idea is that there's like, you go through like lessons or answer questions or things before you can move on to the next step. Um, and so uh, that's a really fun thing that we recently found. We haven't played with it too much. So if uh, someone wants to learn it and then teach us how to use it, that would be great. Um, and then you can also do a scavenger hunt. Um, you know, think of some very common household items um, and like have people run around and try to find them real quick. Um, that can also be a fun icebreaker that you can do online since obviously it's a little more difficult to do games. Uh, although WA would be really fun to play online. I don't know if it's possible, but I'd like to see someone also try that. Yeah, and Jamie just said, we'll send out the Zoom invite to all advisors. So even if you don't watch this, you'll get it. And then you'll be confused, but it's fine. Um, some other ways to have fun with your actions virtually, have a movie night. Um, if 
I know there's an app that you can use if like everyone has Netflix that you can all watch something together at the same time. Um, but if not everybody has that, w.cast.live is a service online that you can use where just one person streams it, but everyone can watch it together. Um, so you can have like a fun movie night with your, with your groups and do that. Um, obviously we have some great recommendations, Moana, Coco, The Incredibles 2, those are all on Netflix. On Disney Plus, you got Lion King and High School Musical. Um, and also Space Jam is just a favorite. So you should always just watch Space Jam as well. Um, and then I reached out to some alumni uh, today to see what else, what other ideas they had for fun things you could do virtually. Um, apparently a lot of museums do online tours. So you can log on and do some online tours with your group. Um, you could start a podcast. Now's the greatest time to learn a new skill. So why not? Uh, you can make a music video. You can learn and play Dungeons and Dragons. You can do some fun arts and crafts together. Draw portraits of other members of your group with your non-dominant hand. Tell bedtime stories, do a shrink bombardment. Um, and so, yeah, those are, really, those are some really good ideas that I didn't think of, but the museum tours sounds really fun. Um, and I mean, I would love to see some music videos. That, that would be a really cool thing. And maybe if some action groups do music videos, the LKI staff can do a music video, you know. We, we could just throw that out there. I, I've just voluntold the LMKI staff they're doing that. So <laughs> they all seem okay with it. Corey and his freezer. Um, so that's it right now for the vir online virtual stuff. As we sort of learn some more tips and tools, we'll make sure to send that out if we come across anything else. Um, oh, here we go. Wait, what? What did I do? Okay. Um, we skipped something, just kidding. Um, and some online projects you can do with your actor group or you guys can work on a social media campaign um, that doesn't require everyone to be together in the same place. So that's something you can do separately and then put out while you guys are not meeting and, and, and not going in public places. That's something you can do from home. Um, you can also work on poster designs. Um, and in our prevention portal, we have the dirty laundry activity, which can be adapted um, to be online, doesn't have to be in person. Um, and so I was wondering if anybody else had any other suggestions for either projects your group can do virtually um, or other some some fun things that I might not have mentioned. If anyone here has some suggestions. I'll just do a little wait dance. I mean, Oh, if okay. they're free at 3.30 on Tuesdays and Thursdays, mm -hmm. they can log into Instagram and, and watch us uh, make fools of ourselves on LMTI Live. That's true. Absolutely. <laughs> Consider that your action group meeting. <laughs> yeah, just, just come on Instagram Live at 3.30 on Tuesdays and Thursdays. All right. Well, like I said, oh, um, yeah. So apparently you can also use Google Hangouts. Um, and you can do those for use that for a lot of different things as well if you're looking for a way to meet uh, with your students or your groups. I also think too, this is Jamie, um, one of the things I think is so important during this time is that everybody with all the social distancing that's going on, um, I know we're, we're connected through media, which is which is great, but it still doesn't take the place of seeing people. So I think um, checking in with your action group about like what's going on with their mental and emotional health is like super important uh, right now. And so I think any of these things where you're connecting with your group are important. One, because, you know, I think we want to continue to surround ourselves with good positive people. And we know that the, you know, the people from your action groups are just that. Um, but I think people during a weird kind of unknown time like this can be having lots of different feelings and reactions and emotions to it. So just staying connected with uh, each other by providing these things, whether they are kind of like project-based things where you're actually, you know, doing something or whether it is just kind of like hanging out together um, online in different ways. I think that um, everybody needs a little of that right now. Um, you know, the LMTI Live stuff, we've just been doing it just to kind of like have fun and, and see everybody and bring everybody together for some good kind of like LMTI fun. Um, yesterday, we we, I don't know if anyone was on there yesterday, but we, Sean O'Byrne was on there and he was chopping up apples and uh, determining which at, which type of apple has the best star in the center. And we had a great time doing that. Um, and I don't even remember what the result was. I think he's, the Red Delicious was still mm -hmm. a solid, consistent. And then what was the other one, guys? 
The pink lady. Pink. Yeah, the pink lady. Yeah. I love the golden delicious person. I also like the golden delicious. It's very petite, but it's still like, it's really good. So anyway, just like, I mean, I think bringing people together to do that kind of like fun uh, stuff that kind of takes you out of this space of, of, you know, kind of what we're all dealing with that is, is important right now. And I think for um, LMTI with the connections that we have to one another, I think that we really can uh, help each other through what is a challenging time for all of us. Um, so I think don't let your action group slip to the side during this time, even if your action group looks a little different than it normally does because you're not able to get as much stuff accomplished. Um, I think those connections are like the most important thing. So I think that's why I'm um, thankful to, to RTP for putting all this together because like, I think that above all else, that's like the most important thing right now. Beautifully said, thank you, Jamie. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, and like I said, if we come up with any more resources, we'll make sure we send that out and make sure everyone else knows about those as well. All right, also I realized I forgot to change that stock photo. So I don't know who those people are, but they seem real happy. Um, so let's move on to Alcohol Awareness Month. Uh, so April, so next month, is Alcohol Awareness Month. Um, and so we just wanted to share some projects and ideas we had on our prevention portal. Um, obviously, some of these, depending on what the situation is, might need to be altered in some way. Um, but we have them here for you, just in case. Um, so we have three that we're uh, suggesting. So the first is a sticker shock, uh, which brings awareness towards underage drinking by putting stickers up in uh, liquor stores. A lot of you have probably worked on those before or seen them. Um, the other one is a please don't risk it campaign. So this is a campaign to make sure that parents and guardians and adults know the risks of uh, providing alcohol to minors or just people under the age of 21. Um, and that's, you know, the health risks to them, their brain development, it's also like the financial and legal risks associated with it as well. Um, and the last one is an environmental scans activity, um, probably the least <laughs> likely one to occur right now uh, as it involves you going into like public spaces like liquor stores and, and looking at the environment and seeing where certain things are placed, um, what kind of advertising do they have. Um, and this is gonna be for alcohol and tobacco as well. You can also alter it for that. I think though so, for any of those, just to, you definitely can modify them so that like if it says going into a store, there's other creative ways. And I don't know if that's something RTP you're going to talk about or not, but I definitely think keep in mind if any of these are usually like going into public spaces that we can't access right now, I think there's ways to get creative and do them a little bit differently so they still work for your groups. And maybe that's part of what the challenge is um, if you're going to do a project right now is figuring out how do we make something like this work um, under these circumstances too. So don't feel like, well, we can't go into a liquor store, so how can we possibly do um, an environmental scan? There's other ways to do it too. You just got to get a little bit creative. Yeah, and, and with all of these projects, there's so much planning and preparation that has to go into it beforehand that, you know, even if, we're, if you're unsure of when the implementation date is going to be, there's still a lot of work to do before you get to that point. So that's still all stuff we can be working on together um, while we're not in person. Um, so the sticker shock, this is just some more information on that. Um, so the target area is alcohol and underage drinking. You know, this, we're talking to adults, parents, community members who are um, buying the alcohol, making sure that they're not giving it to people who are underage. Um, here are some materials you need. So you need stickers. If you need stickers, just let the LMTI staff know. We'll order them and just send them to you. Um, and then in our prevention portal, um, which is what I will just show you now. Oh, good. Okay, great. This whole bar is in my way and I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, just kidding. I found it. So if you go to njlmti.org and see our new beautiful, can you see the website? Am I, am I, okay. I didn't know if it was still stuck on the, <laughs> on the slides and you were just hearing me talk about things you could not see. Um, so if you come here to our new website, uh, you'll see um, right here where action groups is. You can scroll down to prevention portal. Uh, what you'll need to do first though, is you'll see a red, the big red register button here. If you click that, um, it'll ask you for some, information just to register account. This is just so that we know who's accessing the information. It's nothing too personal, too invasive. Just you make a username, tell us who you are, where you're from, and give us an email and create a password. 
Oh. <laughs> uh, we don't see your passwords. That's all. Not that's all. Not we don't see any of that. So we won't see what your passwords are. Once you do that, you can log in. Um, and once you log in, you'll be able to access the prevention portal. Um, if you try to access log in, it'll just bring you to a page that says you need to register and log in first. Um, so once you're here, as you can see, if you remember, our old prevention portal didn't have this many things on it. Um, and now it has a lot of things. So the way it works here is that you have focus areas. So if you're looking for a specific focus area, uh, you can scroll through these and say, you're looking to do something on prescription drugs. And you click that, it'll filter all of uh, the projects we have up here that can be applied towards uh, prescription drugs. Uh, we have the same for prevention strategies. So those seven catechist strategies that I taught you all at camp, um, you can scroll through those as well. Um, and if you're looking to target a specific audience um, of people, we have that as well. So you can cycle through all those things. Um, but right down here is our sticker shock campaign. So you'll see once you come uh, to one of the pages from the prevention portal, uh, there'll be a little you know, blurb here about it. Um, and then there'll be a sticker shock action guide, uh, which will sort of give you everything you need uh, to do the project. So it has instructions on every step you need to do, um, like identifying all your liquor stores. That might take some time, so that could be a really great project to do while you're home. Um, instructions for writing letters, getting support. A whole action plan is here for you. You just have to fill in who's going to do what by when. Um, and we have example press releases for doing it, participation forms, packets that you give the stores. Um, all that information is right there on the website for you to get. Um, and then on the sticker shock site, uh, you can submit a little form right here. Let us know how many stickers you need and we'll send those to you. Um, and so that, that's how it works for all of them. Um, just go to the page. It'll give you all the information you need. If there's anything you're confused about, you can always reach out to the LMTI staff um, and ask us for help. Well, I have so many things open right now that it's impossible to click the buttons I need. There we go. So that's it for Sticker Shock. Um, so, these are, so if you look at things, these are the eight steps uh, to completing the Sticker Shock. First, you got to recruit people to do it. If you have an action group, you've already completed that. Um, you then want to contact this, uh, contact people, identify which stores you're going to do, make sure you edit and send out those letters, get permission to go into the stores, um, invite media, invite the police to go with you, uh, implement it, and then evaluate. You always got to remember you have to evaluate and debrief what it is you're doing. Um, and so, same thing for please don't risk it has a lot of the same target areas, same target audiences, all those is more geared towards parents and guardians. Um, all the materials you need are on the website, so you can print those out directly. Um, this is providing information. Uh, this has less steps to it. Oh, look, it's Lisa DeRitter. Uh, <laughs> this has less steps to it, um, which you can see all on the French portal. And then same for environmental scans. And like Jamie said, obviously, we can rethink the way you do something like this um, because this does involve you going into stores. Uh, we can in scan environments in different ways. So whether it's not going into stores, if you go on a walk and are walking past the store, you can look at the store window to look at advertisements that are on the window. Um, you can look at you know, different environmental factors as well because it's, it's, it's not maybe just the stores, but looking at policies regarding um, you know, signage for how much alcohol signage, how much tobacco signage can you have, social media environmental scans. Thank you, Rachel. You know, looking at, um, you know, what are the ads people are seeing about alcohol, about tobacco? Who are they targeting? Um, what do the ads look like? Yeah, look, Rachel's got all the right questions. What do the ads look like? Um, so there's definitely ways to alter this uh, to be digital as well. All right, so let's move on. We got some more updates. So let's move on to some final updates. Um, I'll just call this stuff. Uh, so we have all of the camp registration materials are available. Yay! And so they're on our website. Um, you can find out there. Also, our track conference applications are available. So this is if you are a graduating senior. Um, this is since you can't go to camp this year, this would be the conference for you. 
Um, it's a three day, two night conference in July from July 15th to the 17th. It's at Montclair State University. Um, and we do a bunch of fun stuff that is like just, what do you do after high school? So whether you're going, you know, you might be going to school, you might be going to the workforce, you might be going into the armed services, whatever you're doing, this, it's fine, you can come. We're gonna have a lot of fun at track. Um, and there's also scholarship applications on there. So um, if you're unsure about how you pay for it, uh, we've got you covered, just fill out one of the scholarship applications. Um, also, action group reports, don't forget to submit those. Um, if you've got some free time just sitting around, just like send RTP an email. Um, YAC decisions have been emailed out. Um, so if you haven't received anything yet, you can contact Corey at his email there. Um, our next webinars are Friday, May 15th at 4 p.m. and Friday, July 17th at 4 p.m which I now realize we might need to change considering that is the last day of track. So we'll let you know about that. Um, and real quick, LMTI Live, I know Jamie gave a great plug for it earlier already, so I don't even have to talk about it. Um, but every Tuesday and Thursday, uh, we're going live at 3.30 p.m. We've got some really fun stuff uh, planned for, there might be a game show night hosted by someone, I don't know. Um, we might have some more presenters. We might be, we're trying to set up an open mic night as well. Um, you know, when is the virtual dance party? Who, oh, maybe there'll be a virtual dance party. Lisa DeRitter can host that one. Um, so we're trying to, like Jamie said, we're trying to do some fun stuff to, to lighten it up a little. Um, so you can find us definitely during those times. Maybe we'll have some extra stuff as well. So just keep an eye out on Instagram for us. Um, and that's it. That's all I have for everyone today. Um, does anybody have any questions, any suggestions? Rachel, do you have more jokes for all of us? <laughs> Maybe. I gotta dig deep into my, uh, my bench of jokes, you know? Yeah, I, I, I'd like to hear at least one more. Okay, hold on. Why couldn't the bicycle stand up by itself? Um, Was it too tired? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, nice. I don't. Hold on, hold on. I've, I've got one more better. <laughs> How do you find Will Smith when he's lost in the snow? I don't know. You look for the fresh prince. Mm. <laughs> I, like that one. You know, I don't think Kathy's on anymore, so you're not hearing the laughter. I, I literally am looking at my, my text conversation with Kathy for all the jokes. <laughs> you know? <laughs> That's where your resources are, I see. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, well, those were great. Yeah. All right, well, uh, nobody has any other questions right now. Uh, I guess that's it. If you have any questions, you can always email, you know, rpalmerpapnj.org or any of the LNTR staff, message us on social media. Um, you all know the drill, you're all here. You know how to get to us. Um, um, can I interrupt for one second? Absolutely. One other thing I want to say is I know without, with not being in school right now, um, doing things like recruiting for camp and like getting people to turn in applications, um, advisors who are on the call, that can be tricky. Um, but, you know, we are um, hoping that, you know, just stay on top of that because um, we're hoping that once we, everything gets back to normal, we'll, we'll have time to do that during the school year. But um, you know, just be aware that as we get closer and closer to, to camp, it gets harder and harder to kind of get things from students sometimes. So just kind of be aware of that. And if you have to kind of like um, do a little extra work um, with, you know, recruiting students or anything like that, let us know. We can definitely like hold on some online sessions in lieu of kind of coming out to schools and things like that. And that's definitely something we can plan for, um, you know, as we're, we're all home. Um, but just a reminder to, you know, do what you can to start working on getting those applications in or at least getting kind of a sense of who's coming. I know a lot of things are up in the air, but the more we can do ahead of time with that, it's always helpful. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, with that, uh, it's been like half an hour, so we're going to end it here. I'm going to email this out to everyone who wasn't here today. Thank you all for joining us. I hope you have a great Friday. Have a great weekend uh, and check us out on TI Live on Tuesday, 3.30. Woo! All right. Uh, Rachel, it's that time when I always forget how to...
You got, just exit. You got this RTP. Just exit uh, it. You got uh, it. Oh, I just stopped screen sharing. How do I end the meeting? All right. Okay. Bye. <laughs>